welcome to Smartdown Radio. And uh, we're here playing some WWE 2K19. And uh, we're going to do some dream matches today. We're going to start out with uh, Flip Gordon, Rey Mysterio Jr. And as usual, the volume will be muted as we will be eventually uploading to YouTube. So we're not going to have any um, music in the uh, entrances and whatnot. But we're going to play through some custom matches and have a good time. Flip Gordon, uh, one of my favorite indie uh, talents. He's come a long way in a short time. And uh, Rey Mysterio, obviously, just re-signing with WWE. So it should be a fun match to play. <clears throat> In our custom Smarkdown Radio Arena, which is pretty awesome. I just finished this earlier today and uh, was looking for the opportunity to, you know, make use of it. So and here comes Flip. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And from Boston, Massachusetts. Downloaded a ton of created wrestlers for this, so um, it'll be cool to see how everybody works and looks and whatnot tonight for this one yeah and judging from the vibe here currently it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see gonna obviously not include the flip off huh nope which is unfortunate but uh it's still a really good likeness of flip gordon and if his in-ring ability in the game is as much um as it is in real life it should be Pretty awesome to play with him. The legendary Rey Mysterio. Yeah, and here comes Rey Mysterio. Buyaka, buyaka. Got to meet Rey at uh, Starcast. This past, this is fall in uh, September, and got to watch him wrestle at uh, All In. Nice to see him. I hadn't met WWE. I did enjoy his stuff in New Japan though, and it's unfortunate we won't get to see more of that. But matches like this, unfortunately, never got to happen. Can nice takeover, kick, stomps. Oh. This should be a fast paced match here. If I have anything to say about it, it will be. We got to flip dragging him to the side of the ring. Oh Oof. man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. You have to think that's it. Oh, this one for a while. He started to stumble move. here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. I guarantee you that the post-game show on the WWE Network will be talking about how he struggled getting out of the game here tonight. Oh. No, oh, I think this man needs. <laughs> oh, the dab. God. Wow. Elbow. Oh. Nobody comes back from this. No. Over in the corner. Uh, setting him up in position. Uh, Gordon looks good. Did a lot of the high flying moves. So far, so far I'm enjoying playing as him. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Cover here. Oh, one count. Mysterio. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. Boom! Spikes him down. 
Looks like he's starting to tire. Let's see if I can he's hit a careful. top this rope move. For him in a hurry. I've never this this good old flip board. Need to do some flips. Right he's really to find a way to get back in this thing. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case. That's not what I, in fact, what I wanted to do. Take it. Not what I wanted to do, and I couldn't put the damn thing down. Alright, what is this? Oh, well. Oh, nice flip over. And kicking out is Ray Mysterio. And the match continues. He jumps so high off the ground, he can't make moves in midair. I noticed even in the game, the the announced team doesn't call moves. I mean, they really did go for authenticity here. Reversal. Not this time. Damn. It's like I can't reverse anything. I'm terrible with the reversal in this game. Going for the cover and kicking out is Ray Mysterio. Gonna take more than that. He's got him now. Gentlemen, Rey Mysterio may be fading away here. This might be See the beginning of the end for him. Nail Guys, here. It's a wonder he's even able to stand at this point. If I'm Auto reversal. Interesting. I'm seriously considering stopping this match. Come on, get up there. This is going to be get to the top rope. One way or another. Oh, got his knees up. Ray Mysterio looking for something big. Oh no, 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 no. Nicely done. What the heck? The ref's in the way. Ray Mysterio's rolling now. Incoming. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look, gets his knees up. He catches him off guard with that amazing acrobatic move. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Oh, well, Flip's going up top. We'll see if he can hit a move here. Oh. This kind of offense he's known for. Flip Gordon. You know, the commentary is leaving a lot to be desired in the game. I didn't know, uh, realize they weren't going to call any of the moves. That's unfortunate. Let's see what we got here. Flips up top. Charge finisher. Oh, big shooting star press. Don't need to see the million replays. Let's see a pinfall. Count, referee. Oh, there we go. Flip Gordon beats Rey Mysterio. Yeah, the commentary is not good. Um, and here's a look back at some of the action. I think it might match. actually be worse than the commentary on Raw itself. Um, it's, I can uh, watch highlights of that one rough. all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Nice reversal there. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud oh, of. Oh, big six or nine. I don't know. The referee being in the way is a bit of a glitch. That uh, probably shouldn't happen on that move. But, hey, big win for Gordon. There's plenty of reason for celebration tonight. Few things Yay, for Gordon with the win. That feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And that'll All do it here right. for this one-on-one -on -one match. I hope you enjoyed it as much as... Yeah, well, well queue up another match um i was hoping to set up a, a season to make this a bit easier and just have like a show set up but it seems to be a bit different here in this game than it has been in past games so we will set up a uh a tag team match here two one two normal um sure
Custom, there we go. And then custom superstar. There you go. The Briscoes versus. And this is a match I've wanted to see for a long time. And I don't know if we're ever going to get to see it, but I would love to. That's Jimmy and Jay. The Usos. That's right. I have been wanting to see the Usos and the Briscoes pretty much forever. And looks like this might be my honest to goodness only chance to do so. As I don't know if the Briscoes will ever make it to WWE. But I mean, these guys, heck of a match right here. Let's start it up. Oh man, I love watching the the Briscoes and and the, like, I think both teams are fantastic. And I I was super hard on the Usos early on, um, early in their careers. The uh, with the face paint and everything, it just got to be, um, you know, boring, over the top, still too over the top, and and you know, early '90s ish to me, um, and a bit racist too. I mean, taking the the Samoan characters and, you know, giving them face paint and making them do the dances and stuff. I mean, um, it's nice to see that they got that makeover and got to be a little more edgy. And this is a match I've, I've wanted to see for a long time. So we're going to get into this and to see it here with Mark Briscoe. We're going we're gonna to move on through some of these. Mark, let's see. Jay come out. Obviously the entrances haven't been set up for the Briscoe brothers. And his There's Jay Briscoe. From Delaware, weighing in at 231 pounds, Jay Briggs Cho. <laughs> Jay Briscoe. Cho. Well, I guess that's probably as close to Briscoe as they could get. <laughs> they're looking good, they're looking good and yeah, man, this is the match I would love to see. This pay-per-view just got put on lockdown. Oh, day one-ish. At a combined weight of 470 pounds, Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso. I'm still wondering why day one is H. And that was a good, that was a good joke by, uh... Such emotion here. Oh, and now we have a brawl on our hands. Oh, yeah. They didn't need the match to start to make a point. Oh, I think this man needs to make this. Yeah, and I'd expect that out of the Briscoes, really. I mean, starting before the bell and all. Oh, nice reversal. Ow. That was painful. Get up. Come on, get up. Another suplex? Yep, another suplex. Man, they, just, they do not call moves here. Oh, nice combination. Stomping away. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount offense soon. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition. Oh, rubbing, rubbing the table across the face. The tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind. Right Uncle Mark. Now. Well executed. Two more stops. Also rubbing that tape across like the face. This is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. The axe oh, double axe handle. handle. And another. Clearly on a mission here. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible. 
a women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky square off against the, the back of the head. committee members Natalia and Carmella. The rivalry between these women gets so intense that Naomi was oh, he slaps in Lynch's corner. And Tamina See if that rakes up Carmella's corner. Jimmy. Slam down hard. Oh. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee go. could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Those legs. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. Oof. That was until Carmella's overconfidence that the Irish last kicker turned the tide well. and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish born superstar. I find it Naomi why are they talking about of making sure any quote unquote committee Becky Lynch and, cost her girls and uh once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disorder, there was <laughs> Carmella no here. I I don't, I don't understand. Like, shouldn't they be talking about the Usos? I mean, I get that the Briscoes they can't really talk about because there's nothing programmed in, but one would think that uh, they could talk about the Usos. The rocker dropper from the Rockers or the Doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher. At least they're talking about tag team finishers now. More than they've been doing for a little bit here. Oh, reversal. Nice. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. And tag team action like it's working those, working those legs. Do, nails their opponent with their finisher. That should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long and the fans, time fans booing away. On a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. And if Jimmy is over and takes Jay in, though, I mean, fresh guy and everything, that could be, could be impressive. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Seems like whoever created them basically gave Jimmy and Jay the same moves. Suplex. Oh, brain buster. Into the pin. Huh. Looks like a save. Here he goes. Possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Just when you thought he had nothing Boom. left. Boom. Uh, for Death Valley Driver. Off to run Ted. Oh. Usos have accomplished a oh, nice neck breaker. WWE and they're far from done. I'm gonna take you back to the no to three. Jimmy Uso with an easy kick out. Well, what did you expect from a superstar like Jimmy Uso? His heart speaks for itself. In off the tag. Perfectly executed. Comes Jay Briscoe. I think this man needs business. Didn't have to dig very Rope deep. Rope break, huh? There is no quit in this man tonight. I have the pleasure. Here's the cover. And he Ooh, good out. Good Don't get distracted, Jay. Jimmy Uso's oh, Uso's nice reversal. Fashion, folks. Ouch. That's how you put that was impressive. He needs to make that tag, though. Like, still going at it. Not, not a good idea. There we go. See, should have made the tag when he had the opportunity, man. Oh, he got him up. Got him. Going for it. Got J Driller. Jay Drilla. Bam. 
You should have made a tag when he had the chance. Jimmy Uso with an easy kick out. Yeah, and Jimmy Uso was on his last legs, but he's not done by a long stretch. Oh, I think this man needs business. some serious pain here in WWE there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring try working with Saxton at ringside oh, I think this man Ooh, that's a big small one drop oh, he is rolling. he's got him covered two three there we go now that's an impressive Chris goes with a win goal. over the Usos it was a good tag match. I wish the I wish the commentary was better in the game. Um, that's something I've noticed. Just, tag team battle. It could be better. Then again, I could say the same thing about you know the um, I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, commentary on the show. I like the J driller. The J driller looks great in the game. And uh, you gotta give it up to uh, 2K for programming in um, so many moves that aren't being used by WWE wrestlers Hope like everybody at home set those pretty impressive DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again Epic. and I think I agree with that Here statement this this would be a match I would watch over and over again I mean the, the Briscoes and Usos that would be uh, a hell of a hell of a match and I'd watch that regardless of what company it was in um that, that, you know, that could be WrestleMania quality there, and I'd be all about it. Alright, and on to another match. Well, you know, eventually. Singles match, normal. Let's see here, we'll go for another dream match scenario. Uh, custom superstar. The American Nightmare Cody. And uh, we'll put Cody up against, since he is the IWGP US Champion, we'll, uh, we'll go with Cody versus WWE United States Champion Shinsuke Nakamura as a dream match scenario. Oh my god, there are so many wrestlers in this game to scroll through to get anywhere. Oh, almost there, there we go. Shinsuke. Confirm. Uh, match options. They really want me to wrestle on SmackDown. I'm not sure why, but there we go. Start. And here we go. Shinsuke Nakamura. Cody Rhodes, U.S. Champion versus U.S. Champion. Should be a heck of a match. Oh. Today will be spent doing this live stream, and then later we will be shooting uh, Smartdown Radio, talking about the news of uh, the day. A lot of talk about uh, the upcoming... Um, Crown Jewel show in Saudi Arabia. There seems to be a lot of uh, a lot of background story going on, and a lot of people upset about things at the moment. So and here we see Shinsuke. That just isn't the same without uh, without the music. <laughs> but I refuse to get copyrights uh, striked on uh, YouTube. So. We're just going to run Making through matches here and ring, not have the music. From Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, the United States champion, Corey, this Shinsuke man is taking WWE Nakamura. by storm. You're absolutely right. And since WrestleMania, since this... And let's see the opponent. I mean, Cody doesn't have the belts on. I'm going to remedy that at some point here. Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 216 pounds, the Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Does have that current 
U.S. attire, though. Looking good. Since Gay's not in his new attire by any means, so it'll be interesting to see if uh, there's any kind of updates to this. I noticed they said there are live updates to the game, so I'm wondering if they're going to do attire updates and things, or if this is just going to be a um, stat situation, or, or how that's going to work. But Man, Cody's been impressive this last year. Uh, winning the NWA Championship, winning the Ring of Honor Championship last year, and uh, winning the IWGP US title. These are a couple rule breakers. Cody, a, s a sneaky, sneaky one, and Shinsuke with his love of low blows. Look out. Stops. Oh, reversal. Cody whips whips him in. Oh, they collide. Cody going for oh, slam. big slam. That arm hook behind him. Just a of time now. Doing damage to the shoulder. The elbow, elbow drop. He hits him with the knee. They go off the rope. Oh, big knee drop by the American Nightmare. With such a Bulldog. Seems to have lost a step now. With the grandson of a plumber. And find a way to get back on the offensive. I wouldn't call for the medics oh, wow. just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent Big to snap be suplex. As he clearly is Going to the second tonight. rope. Bad move there. Oh, missed it with that knee on the way back down, though. That was a good idea. Being just get back to his feet, punch him hard in the face. This guy's dangerous in and out of the ring, and it looks like he wants to prove just that. He's going up top. Ooh, the elbow lands. Shinsuke on the apron. Cody's going to suplex him right back in the He's ring. Sinking. As his body is driven to the mat. Oh boy, he is rolling. Take him back up to a knee. Forearm right across the back Smashes of Smashes him with that forearm. Oh, and Shinsuke has stopped moving. Oh, he comes up with that knee again and misses. Oh, Shinsuke with that kick. That was impressive. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Already stomping away at Shinsuke. Oh, reversal. Shinsuke Nakamura with a nice reversal. Here's Nakamura with some offense of his own. Oh, man. Cody. Oh, this is a clothesline. Oh, this low blow. No choice but to call the match. Well, Cody wins via DQ, it looks like. And uh, that seems a bit <laughs> realistic with Shinsuke in the low blow. That was interesting that uh, the game did that. Um, huh. Well... That was a bit anticlimactic, but there we go. Win for Cody over Shinsuke via DQ. It's an odd way for that to uh, to work out, but all right. And then uh, let's see. We're going to do a six-man match. Normal. And this will be this will be a bit of a another dream match here as we will go with the likes of oh so many guys here. Let's see. There was Tamatanga. Versus 
Roman Reigns. And... Oh... Dean Ambrose. And Dangaloa. And Seth Rollins. And... Taje Ishimori. There we go. We're going to have ourselves a firing squad versus the shield matchup. A smart down radio. I think I need to look into getting shield attires on uh, Dean and Seth, however. Um, I think Roman is pretty much always in a shield attire. But, uh, yeah. Get these other two in some shield attire for for gaming. I do believe um, there's a possibility that this Friday we will be doing some Halo uh, 5 as well on the channel. Again, with, uh, with Brother John. We did some of that uh, last week, and that was fun. And we're hoping to do some more. Also looking uh, forward to possibly uh, picking up a PlayStation 4 and doing some uh, New Japan or pro wrestling uh, with Fire Pro. Also, Spider-Man looks amazing. And that's another one we want to pick up and, and do some coverage of. So, see how all that works out. But. Oh god. They do say the big dog. Oh, that's terrible. Alright, look at it's Roman Reigns. Making his way to the ring. Cool. So the shield aren't coming out together in this either. So that might be something that needs to be addressed. I've only had the game a week. Haven't haven't had a whole lot of time to play. There we go. Oh, that skipped everybody's entrance, huh? Oh. That's all right. Everybody wants to see the firing squad, not shield. Everybody knows what the shield entrances are like. Here we got Tamatanga. The BCOGs. The firing squad. He and Roman had quite the words via Twitter. And, uh... I don't know. Seeing this match, I... I Pay to see this match. Um, this is definitely on my list of dream matches. Ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. <laughs> Can't believe they allowed him to mention world class wrestling. <laughs> uh, there's our Smart Down Gaming logo over there. Looking, looking nice. I think the arena turned out pretty good. Wanting to uh, make something, you know, specific for the uh, Twitch channel for streaming. So I think that worked out well. I like the Smart Down logo in the bottom right hand corner as well. Oh, so it didn't skip them. It's, it, it, it's having them come out. That's interesting. Opposite each other. You know what? I am wondering. Did uh, did we do we select something wrong? Is this just gonna be a six man match? Um uh, skip. I'm gonna skip through here and, and see if this is set up right. I don't think this set up is a tag match. Which is what I was trying to do. So let's give this another go. Nope, it's set up as a six man. That's not what we wanted. Let's try this again here. We want a we want a six man tag. Not a uh six man tag team. That's I thought that's what I selected. I'm not sure. 
I should have known by the fact that it made me bounce around like that that something was going on. There we go. That's what I was looking forward to do. Uh, I tell you, talking to people, talking on a microphone to people while you know trying to play is a bit distracting, and uh, it's something I'm not used to doing. So it's definitely gonna have to work on that. All right, where is he? There he is. Nope. It's Angaloa. And Ishimori. Firm. There we go. That's a bit better. Dean and Seth in here and get out of the match, man. Oh, hey, okay, nope. Firm. Go. Accept. And start. And here we go. That's better. Take team action. I agree with what a lot of people have said about wanting GM mode back. I think that would be fantastic to have that ability to um, be the booker and uh, you know run through. Back at the Smartdown Arena. <laughs> ah. Alright. The they still ha they still have to mentor separate though, huh? Alright, so. Alright, well, we already seen this. Oh, Dean Ambrose. In at I don't want to linger on the entrances either. Just, you know, there's no music. Not a whole lot to say. Um, you know, it is what it is. And if I can't give you something, if I can't talk about something, then what's the point of doing this, you know? So we're going to try to blow through some of these entrances. In fact, in future Let's Plays, um, a lot of times I may just cut the entrances all together. Uh, because, I mean, once once you've seen them once, I mean, what's really the point of watching them again? Here comes the King Slayer. Oh, the King Slayer. Here comes Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins, the King Slayer, the architect, undeniably one of the best superstars WWE has seen. All right, and their opponents. Ooh, ooh. Oh, man, I am tired. It's been a long week, man. It's only Thursday. One, one more day yet until the weekend, which I am highly looking forward to. Yeah, and I, I think the the person who did the, the Tama Tonga um, creator wrestler did an amazing job. Looks great. Love the firing squad shirt. Um, got a chance to meet the uh, Tamatanga, Tamaloa, and Haku at Starcast, and those guys are amazing. Um, super fun to meet those guys. They uh, they definitely were having a good time, and uh, you know, real laid back dudes. I very much enjoy getting a chance to meet them, and you know, uh, D Daddy Haku. Um, it's pretty awesome as well. In fact, almost to have words with the boys is uh, when I we got up to get the autographs, we were pretty pretty 
towards the front of the line, but um, you get up there, uh, the guys were sitting and Haku was standing. And I'm like, man, I don't want to have to say anything, but you guys need to give your dad a seat, <laughs> you know? But uh, by the time we got up there, um, uh, Tamaloa had allowed, uh, had given Haku his seat, and, and Tamaloa was standing. So I'm not sure who decided not to bring three chairs in to that, but uh, probably should have. But it was cool seeing the guys. It was amazing meeting Haku. Um, just a big dude. And uh, I mean, had watched him for years in WCW, so. Uh, and WWE. And then. This guy, this is somebody I'd be interested in meeting at a New Japan show. Um, maybe maybe he'll be at the uh, show in April in uh, New York. But uh, Ishimori, the new Bone Soldier. Um, yeah. From Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 150 pounds, yeah, I'm betting that's probably the best Isaiah job they could do e. with that helmet no of his. Three on three matchup. And Michael, it'll be interesting to see how these two teams of three coexist. When you put in this many personalities on the same page, it's almost impossible to be on the same page 100% of the time. I think it might have worked out better with that if this if somebody would be actually could scan in that uh that mask. That he wears, but it's a pretty pretty good likeness. And here we go. So damaging. Plenty on the line here in this huge three-on-three -three matchup. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. <laughs> that packed a punch. And I keep saying that. Tamatanga is the guy Vince wishes Roman was. Like, Roman's got the size Vince likes, which in the other, it's devastating. Tamatanga has got everything else. Oh, oh, man. There's no coming back from that. Here we go with Vin. Roman's in the ropes. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's some serious pain here. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. I think it's safe. And he tags his partner in. Oh, he's Dean in. Certainly shifted here, Michael. And in comes Tamaloa. I gotta get a. I wonder if they're gonna update Dean's hair, or if that's something I have to once again do the whole downloaded creator wrestler for. So much force Cause I mean, while it'd be cool to have updated Dean Ambrose, it's not something I care enough about to waste my time looking for one online. <laughs> this, yeah, this would be a hell of a, a hell of a feud between the two factions. I mean, especially with the. How oh, over the uh, fighting squad are as heels, and then how just hated Roman Reigns is as a face. It would be very interesting. Hey, there we go. Two sweets. Up. Up and there's oh. the flapjack. Nice flapjack move mover. Back to the middle, and more punches, more mounted punches right in the face. Now? He's got to remember he has two partners ready to enter the fray here. At this point, he really has to think about mixing it up a bit. Maybe implement more of a power game into his offense. Ow, that hurt. Ow, that hurt. Okay, Michael Cole, that's ridiculously bad. Big power bomb. Two sweets. 
Oh, reversal. Reversal. Oh. Dragon screw. Punches to the face. Yep. More punches to the face. Seth Rollins is a true student of the game. Byron, how do you stay one step ahead of the architect and hope to defeat Rollins? It's a tall order, Michael. I think if you remove any backup from the equation, you can put Rollins in panic mode where he'll make mistakes. Reverse it. No. <sighs> nice. You know, removing Seth Rollins' support structure could work, Byron. I'm thinking back to times the Shield or J&J &J security were banned from ringside and Rollins didn't adapt well. The architect has detailed Punches in the face. for his allies and how he expects events to unfold. When a wild card's thrown in there, it can deter... We've got to cover... Digging deep for a kick out. No, you don't want Wow, that was bad. Repeating commentary there. From what we've seen and heard tonight, big drop kick. Serious injuries. Well, the crowd's on the edge of their seats. There are times during a six-man tag. He's looking at it. Tawo Tangaloa, big power bomb. He's in control now. Got the shoulders down. One, two. Still going oh. on. Might have slipped there, Cole. Well, the architect is rolling now. All right. Byron, you talked about the moment. Ishimori. Tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the world of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six man tag match. Breaks down into a pier six ball. Oh, what's the man here? Oh, we're count. in the hardest part of the ring. And your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. Jeez. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Oh, I think this man needs business. <laughs> oh, man. He's making a statement here with this attack. <laughs> I need some more. I get up. That's oh. it. He got him. Come on, I need some more. I get up. Damn it. Reverse that. Reverse it. Reverse it. Oh, oh wrong. Right there. Time, there have been I like that Roman comes in to pick the bones of the small guy. There are family trios like the Gorillas, the, the reversal. Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams. Oh, Miss Frog Splash. Four Horsemen, the NWO, and Degeneration. What's wrong? Superman Punch. There is. Keep your eye on this one. This is what makes him so dangerous. Check out. That's right, Ishimori. Kick out of that. You mentioned some Superman punch. Whoa, they're going for that three-man power bomb. Factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Where's my teammates? Where's my teammates? The Shield in the new WWE Universe. Where's my teammates? 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 Where's my
Corey, you spoke about one of superstars in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that oh, has come on. The team in the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could oh, be. What's this Mori going for here? He controls the pace of a match. Quite like this guy. He's just so dominant. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I don't that believe he could do that to Roman Reigns. But... You can do it to Roman again. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Uh, second time to Roman. Dang. This is his opportunity to win this thing. He looks bad. This man needs focus. I can't believe it, Michael. Oh man, Roman Reigns doesn't even know where he is. Tamaloa going for a finisher now. Looking for a repeat. Some serious pain here. What an nice. assault on Roman Reigns. Got him good there. <laughs> Looks like everybody's gonna hit finishing moves on Roman, which I'm okay with. Like uh, I don't see any problem with this. Ten. He goes for the cover. One, two, three. There we go. And it's a heck of a win for the Let's take another look at these guys in action. firing squad over the shield. I don't like to throw a lot of praise. Oh, man. You should more have ate that uh, triple man power bomb. WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud Ooh. to be a part of. A legendary performance. I didn't get to see a cutter, but I'm okay with that. I thought it was a good match. I mean, he got... Four and a half stars. How many Roman <laughs> matches get those four and a half stars? So I'm good with that, man. Looking dominant at times. Oh, what did I do? I went too far back. That's what I did. All right. Hurry up, game load. I don't have all day. One on one, normal. Hmm. Let's see. Let's, actually, let's do another. Uh, yeah, we can do a one on one. One on one's fine. Custom superstar. Go with Kenny Omega and I'll put Kenny up against the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Yeah, accept and accept. All right. We'll have one match following this one. And I mean, I don't know anybody who would enjoy these matches that have been played today. Um, in real life, if these happened, they could, you know, headline mania. A, a number of them could have. Um, you know, and it's just, uh, I think a lot of it will depend on who ends up signing with WWE eventually, if, if any of these are going to happen. Gotta put the IWGP title on Kenny as well. He really... He really looks naked without that belt. Um, I gotta say. I haven't seen him with it. 
and I mean, in the recent, I've seen a lot of people uh, you know, hate on Kenny Omega, talk about how he's ruining like Japan wrestling, and this is that nature, and I don't match. think these people actually are New Japan fans. I think a lot of these people are just people who want to hate on Kenny because of his success, and uh, are more of your WWE fan base. Um, we're going to skip the rest of this scene, get on to the AJ Styles entrance. And uh, as as you all know, Kenny Omega is the one who ousted AJ from the Bullet Club and sent him on his way to WWE at Wrestle Kingdom, or just after Wrestle Kingdom. Um, yeah. So sends sent AJ on his way to the WWE, where AJ has been extremely successful, becoming WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, what two times? Held the belt WWE. for most of this year. He's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker. And his opponent from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. The WWE AJ Daniel Bryan apparently coming up at uh, Crown Jewel, and that should be. I mean, unless WWE royally screws the pooch on that one, that should be a freaking dream match come true. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know how they could screw that up. I know they can screw it up, but, I mean, it'll take a major effort on their part to do so. <laughs> Oh, sling blade right off the bat. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment okay. and say, this is what WWE's all about. And it looks to me like this arena is on its feet, and understandably so. From the corner. Huge slam right there. Wow. Big oh, wow. splash. Incredible. This has to be it. Kicks. Oh, oh man. It's got to be hard to Stomps. read from that one. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described oh, okay, as severe. Oh, Kenny with a gut wrench. Severe. <laughs> Oh. Tonight. There must be serious injuries. Oh, this is that kick. Oh, what the? What is going on here? There's some glitchiness in the game. Nicely oh. Done. Nice reversal, Kenny. Dragon screw leg whip. Oh, nice reversal by Styles. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Perhaps he has to in. Yep. To you know what? Backdrop on the apron. Yep. Backdrop on the apron. Do 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 do. Ah, I forgot the way. Another swing blade. Hey, they finally called out a move. That's surprising. Oh, misses. Nice. Float around DDT by AJ. Oh, oh man, I reversed that. Come on. Come on. Get up, Kenny. Saxton, you fool. Good reversal. Was the corner, great. nice. Are you telling me that the lunatic fringe would have done something even crazier had that match gone on another minute? Well, even if Styles did take a shortcut to win it, he definitely proved himself afterwards with many great title defenses during his 140-day championship reign. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, I think this man needs to And boom. Elbow drop, big time. See, part of the problem is, is WWE matches are not really structured like New Japan matches. So what we're watching here is not going to be the kind of matches you guys are really have to have. for a challenge, and tonight is no different. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. There's no way he can stay in this match if he doesn't find a way to fend off this attack. Yeah, he's clearly not on the right side of this right now, which is a little surprising to me. Splash! What impact! Oh, man! Oh, man! Reverse it, reverse it, reverse it. No, no, I hit reversal. Oh. Have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure? He's on the defensive. Really? 
He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. Incredible move by AJ Styles. Can he finish the job? Look at this. Here he goes. Going up, putting him in that fireman carry frame position. Up on the shoulder, and boom, one wing angel. AJ's in big trouble now. Wow. That was Let's nice. See that again. Boom. Man, he is simply a walking highlight reel. We got a cover. And he got a near fall. Oh. Out of it. Yeah, it's going to take more. And no one really kicks out of that move. That's, that's one of the more protected rules in wrestling. So I delivered it super early, though. And his elbow finds the mark. I really need to deliver like three or four V-triggers first. That's Kenny working on AJ's right neck. Morning. Devastating damage to the upper vertebrae. He's got him covered. And he got a near fall out of it. This is amazing. Got the head scissors applied. Oh, oh man. That's Those are the head scissors applied. Hitting the elbows at the top of the head. Oh, here we go. Up. Boom. Right to the face. Knee trigger. Oh. Well, that was nice. That was a lot easier than I expected it to be. To be honest, and I, I feel like they've made Roman like the more the most powerful character in the game. Like I felt like he was making comebacks, and, and you know, it took him took him like three finishers to finish him. And here we see AJ go down with one winged angel and a V trigger. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. That was uh, a super anticlimactic. Boom! V trigger looks nice though. Almost speechless. Almost. Here is your winner. Too sweet, Kenny. Omega. Too sweet. That's a big win for him, ladies and gentlemen. Only got a That's three and a half star, so. You Who would have thought part. Kenny Omega Again, just out three and a half stars, but hey. Seems to be what happened. And now our main event is this will be the last match of the stream. Make sure I actually go to tag team this time. We'll go over here. Let's see. Custom superstars. Firm. Yes. Custom superstar. Yes. Hey, Cosmos Superstars. Confirm, yes, and... Oh, yeah. Versus New Day. Nick and Matt Jackson along with Marty Skrull versus Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, and Biggie Langston. <sighs> this match has been teased so much, um, you know, with Kenny obviously in the place of Marty, but I mean, an elite versus New Day match. Overly teased, and you gotta wonder if they're ever gonna go down and end up playing basketball. I mean, that the tease that you know, maybe a basketball encounter between the two sides. I'd I'd be up for seeing a three on three game of basketball between the elite and the new day. Um, you know, I think that could be pretty cool. I think they could actually do that and 
um, set it up live with some tickets for charity or something. I think that could be uh, a good possibility of something those guys could do. I think a lot of that will depend on how, um, how busy the schedules the of the Bucks and Kenny Omega are Introducing going forward. Um, from Long you know, Beach, if they're ever California, actually going to be in the same area at the same time with some of the same time off to do it. That would be something amazing for all in two, first like a star cast having a New Day versus Young Bucks. Even though I'm I'm pretty sure Vince would never allow New Day to to do that. All right. Yep. Next. And obviously, I'm gonna have to do some like create entrances for the tag teams that have been downloaded. But. From Long Beach, California, here we are. At 179 pounds, Nick Jackson. Whoop whoop, too sweet. 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 <laughs> hey, there he is. Really, really well done. Got the mask and stuff. Got the bandana. The villain, Marty Skewell. Skewell, huh? Ah. Oh, I dig it. Got his umbrella. Ladies and gentlemen, we have six-man tag team action whoop, whoop. coming up. And whoop, given whoop. who's involved in this one, whoop, I assure whoop. you that you don't want to miss whoop, this whoop. one. Trust me. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Villain club shirt. Oh, I totally dig it. Uh, let's see if I can hook someone in a chicken wing in this match. I haven't had a lot of experience with this submission oh. setup. Don't you dare be, be sour. sour. Clap. Clap. And feel the power. It's the new day. Yes, it is. All right. Oh, there's the pancake. And there's the booty O's. I hope your positivity bus drives right into a bridge embankment. Take that back. Kofi Rockets and Jordans there. The Looks Day. like he might be. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> oh. All right, there we are. The New Day. Oh, uh, New Day rocks. Uh, new. Uh, Day Rock got the trombone and the platter of pancakes, and we're gonna skip the rest of that scene. All the way up and around the world, six man tag team match. How, how often the men actually do that? Do that well, if this six-man oh, match isn't trending at some point over the next few minutes, there must be something wrong with the internet. Truly spectacular. All right, reversal into a DDT. Business, man, me. Business. This Moon's all. Oh, oh, man. Stomps. Drags him out the corner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, starts working the arm. Oh, my goodness. Working the arm. And yeah, working on arm. Oh, well, that's your Kofi. Far around them on the outside. He's his from the top to oh, the that wasn't what I wanted to do. Oh, oh, terrible man. place to be. That's a big time power bomb for him right there. There we go. Reverse it. Reverse it, Matt. Oh, nice. Jackson, the 
firehouse and the team can come back. in and get the tag and come in and be a complete spark plug. Consider me wildly unimpressed with his performance here tonight. I mean, he's just getting destroyed in there, but he can still turn the time here. Man, they really did turn on Big E. Till it's over. He's inflicting some serious pain here. <laughs> oh, man. I'll be shocked if that's not it. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. The sharpshooter. The sharpshooter. There we go. Going oh, for that sharpshooter. No doubt about that one. Well, I think this man needs business. Oh, my goodness. You jam your leg in a bad way. Result. Do oh. I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Reverse that. No. Oh. Some serious pain here. There he goes. Oh. Crashing to the floor. No, 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 no. Oh. On the floor. Oh, I think this man needs business. He looks a bit oh, off the game here. Do. Sick. He be a little surprised right now. When you Sick. put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable <sighs> beatdown. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. And in comes Marty's girl. Elbow. Oh man! Oh man! Pulls him in. Up. Oh, oh drops him again. That move's vicious. Going after oh. The Xavier Woods really feeling the heat now. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point. Pulls right back to the arm again. Yeah, Same move. You count him out now, guys. Oh, The human body can only absorb so much of that. There you go. He's looking to make sure this guy doesn't walk away from this match. He's moving like a man possessed. Nice move. Woo, woo, woo. Ooh. Oh. Tell me what Xavier Woods okay. can do to improve his chances. At this point, I'd say he's probably better off taking a tag to one of his partners. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a center. change in momentum and fast. Oh, oh and stop right the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Pile driver, tombstone pile driver. Nails it. Spinning him. And he gets the shoulder. Oh, rope break, yeah. really? What's Marty going for here? Big move coming. Chicken wing. So damaging, but he's got to capitalize now. Xavier Woods with serious reason for concern. This six-man tag team match certainly seems to be getting the best of it. Oh, there. come on. I am shocked that he's even still he Yeah, I am not good with this mission holds. And that's something that I'm hoping I'll get better at as time goes. Oh. It's over. Thanks to our general manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose. Oh, Matt crashed and burned. That can't be good for his back. Yeah, and he's feeding off it right now. Let's see if he can keep it up. Talk about it the knee. Man, Xavier Woods. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and the Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly oh, with the Derek. There we go. There we go. Amazing move right Top there. Shooter. Woods looks to be in some serious trouble here. Look at this. Oh, 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 man. Damn. 
And then a single super kick in the match is shocking. Absolutely shocking. Too sweet. Oh. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness. Look at this. Over the pin. This guy's on. Look out. That's a wrap. No, he got it. Amazing six man the winner of the match. Elite. I thought for sure the uh, New Day would have made that save, but no such luck. Got that tombstone by Marty Skrull. Count yourselves lucky people. You might and WWE for Matt Jackson off the top. I'm not a few times. sure. <laughs> the fact that I got the pin is shocking to me, but all right. Sure, why not? Right. And that'll be our last dream match for today. So uh, join us for SmackDown Radio and our show that we do every week um if you're watching live join us tonight as we will be doing one this evening um if you're watching this on youtube uh thanks and uh be sure to subscribe thanks for tuning in everybody we will see you again